Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. This is a full moon reading. The full moon is under the astrological sign of Leo and this reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the message, the full moon message for Sagittarius? You know, Sagittarius, the full moon is all about letting go, release, and you open up with the card of letting go, change, time to move forward, risk, and opportunity. So this message is definitely for somebody who's looking for a new beginning but realizes something's got to go. And Spirit is saying you can't have a new beginning when the past is still occupying your energy here. Somebody is a stalemate. Um... And needs to take decisive action. Whoever the stalemate is. Whoever's not coming forward. Not taking action in this situation. They need to. Or they need to let go of you. Um, stalemates hold on to each other's energy. And and they're, they need to take make a decision and take action. Spirit just said no decision is a decision. Whoever that is for. I see why you're holding on to this person's energy. They're a light worker. They're a star seed. And you know, Sagittarius, I've been talking about your ascension spiritually for months now. Your calling, you answering that calling. It's all around you. It's happening. And you're recognizing this. You're listening to your intuition, your angel guides, your spirit guides. There are inner shifts occurring. Mm-hmm. And you have a new perspective. You know, there's truth. Whoever is more spiritually aligned, this is the one whose energy is being held on to. They know who you are. They can feel you. And that's why they are holding on to your energy. But for some reason, they're not able to let go of the situation that they're involved in. It's a family. It's a marriage there's a baby, mm. and that's why they're not letting go of their current situation, unable to move forward. They can't take any more on any more responsibilities or new beginnings at the moment. At least that's what it was. That was the situation in the past. They just weren't ready because of their obligations, but in the present, they are thinking about you. Can't get you off of their mind. You know, they think positively. They feel unburdened somehow when they are with you. They just feel a sense of tranquility, of peace, of calmness. Um, when they think about you, they seem to be able to let go of all of their current responsibilities. But they're not changing the situation with you. They hold on to you without changing. Thus the four of wands. This is somebody you may have wanted or whoever feels that their energy is just being held on to. You may have wanted that person but have been unable to have them. Because if you're spiritually led, you're not going after a married man. You know God is never going to give you someone's husband or why if that is never going to be how it's going to work. <laughs> uh -uh. And so, therefore, you may have wanted this person, but you never, you always respected the fact of that ring and those children. Somebody here just said, I just heard, you know, I treated that the way I would hope another man or woman would treat it when it came to my wife or husband. Yeah. You know, respect the fact that they're married and not try and have a relationship with a married person. If they really want you, then they need to be free to be with you. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is if they really want you, then they need to be free to be with you, right? To sleep with you and 
stay through the entire night, not get up in the middle of the night, into the morning, having breakfast. That's what this situation wants. The whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> there, this energy will never settle for a third party situation and definitely not coming in between a marriage. You know, if it's not working out, you don't want that responsibility anymore, then you need to do something about it. I hear somebody saying that, Sag. Under this full moon, you are definitely assessing what you need to do to go forward. Both of you, both of you are looking at your situation intently. Mm. <clears throat> Didn't I say? And this situation is thinking about their coins, the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe they need more money to separate, you know, because then you got to pay alimony and child support. And so the Eight of Pentacles comes into mind when you're thinking of taking risk. Yes. <laughs> and moving forward. What does that really look like? What, what is that picture? And so they're waiting. They're waiting with the Three of Wands because of the financial burdens that all of us are experiencing right now. Such everybody is counting their pentacles, looking at them, unless they got it like that. And when you have little ones, those type of responsibilities, yeah, there's a lot to think about here. There's a lot to think about. So, the other one that feels like the other is non-decisive, like we've been here, we've talked about this. Um, and still, there's no action. You're not letting go. So I don't see how we're going to move forward. What are you saying here, Holy Spirit? Oh, you know what? They're going to come back with a rebuttal. They're going to tell you that they love you. This They're going to make an offer. They're going to make an offer to you with the Ace of, Ace of Wands. An offer that you can't resist, I hear, Sag. This is going to be like they may buy you a diamond ring or um, if you're a male, they may take you away on a romantic trip or something. Somehow they are going to tell you, give you a glimpse, I just heard, of what this new beginning is going to look like. They want something with you, even though they are currently boggled down with heavy responsibilities. Yeah, there's some guilt here also. You know, they feel for you very deeply, but it's not, it feels like, you know, they love their family too, right? So there's some anxiety and uh, fear about finances, about walking away. They are still very much in their head. But man, they're going to make a proposal. They're going to give you an offer you can't resist. They're going to give you a glimpse of what a new beginning will look like with them. Oh, It's going to make you think twice, Sag. You're going to stop and think twice before you walk out that door. Oh, it's romantic. It kind of heals you too. It kind of keeps the situation in the same place for a little longer. Wow, that diamond ring or that vacation. Mm. But you know what? Then when you return from that euphoric experience, <laughs> things go right back because reality bites. You know, and those doubts creep in and they're with their family and you're alone. Someone's alone. Nah, <laughs> you're not feeling this anymore. I know. I know, especially under this full moon, knowing you deserve more than this. You're a light worker. Oh, but man, did that feel good. That time together. Whew. That's that present attracting you. You both of you were grateful for that time together, but there's no future, and reality comes back in. Things return. Yeah, it was very 
healing, you know, very loving, very calm and tranquil. Uh -huh. You didn't want to go. You Neither of you wanted to walk away from that experience. It was that profound. It was that great. It was a great a time together. You know why you love them. Damn. And they know why they love you. Whew. Okay, tell me what else, spirit. What else? Okay. No more with those cards. Let me get a new deck. Sagittarius. <sighs> reality. Back to reality. Didn't want it to end, but it was inevitable. Because they're not really ready to make a move. Mm -mm. Three of Wands. You see they're waiting. They're waiting. All in their head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this definitely humbles the one who finds herself in a, a stalemate, realizing they're back into the same mind games that they were in the past, that this is all an illusion. The possibility of you becoming mine per permanently, you know, um, it's an illusion. Wow. And how does the other person feel here? Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. They feel manipulated by their current spouse, you know, maybe because of this family situation. It's like somebody's a dictator. They're they're a control freak. There's a narc here. Either male or female. Somebody is running that family and this person feels manipulated. They feel like a puppet in this relationship. That's why they want to let go. That's why they want to move forward and they want to move forward with you. Sag, whoever it is. Yeah, they often think about time spent with you. They're, they're wistful. It's like they they travel forward in their mind. And, of course, you are the ingredient that they're taking a risk with, that they're moving forward with. It's you. They always think of you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm-hmm. But you don't trust this. There are doubts. You know, the, the reality is you've been lonely one too many times. And um, they've missed a lot of opportunities with you because of their obligations, their family. So the reality bites again, and it's an illusion, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, what else? Sag. Mm -hmm. Full moon in Gemini. So I think some of you know it's time to take action. It's time to make a decision on this. And um, you taking action and making a decision, full moon in Gemini. We're talking about a full moon here. It's in Leo. And Leo is self-assured. They're confident. Um, they make a choice. They step forward and do what they have to do. They are courageous when they take action. And, you know, in spite of it being action they may not want to take, they have the courage to do what they have to do. Very mature. And that's the answer. And it's coming after this full moon. In Gemini on this card, that means you have a choice. You have a choice to take the action and... Um, let go of this facade. Because <laughs> it's until they walk away, nothing is going to happen here. Okay? Nothing. And you know this. You know this. Yeah. It's time to go deeper. You know, not skim the surface. And going deeper means the truth. The truth of the situation. You can't fight it anymore. As much as you want. <sighs> yeah, you know, and Libra is all about the justice card, right? And there is a certain amount of karma associated with not doing things that are right, righteous. 
And um, this situation just as good as it felt. It's not right. Mm. Anything else for Sagittarius? Okay. Yeah, it's about balancing spirituality with practicality. Especially this one that is in this stalemate situation. Their intuition is wearing them down, child. Because this situation is no longer practical. You don't see a future with it. Mm. Yeah, you don't see a future with this person. There, how can there be? How long has this been? Leave me a comment. Tell me how long have you been hearing that they're going to come back. That they're going to return. That they're going to leave their family. That they're going to uh, move in with you. That, you know, I don't know. A long time, I know. That's why it's got to come to an end under this full moon. It's just about releasing. Being truthful and honest about what we have to release. We all got stuff to release. That's why we get the opportunity to do it monthly. <laughs> God gives us chances over and over and over again. Yeah, you know, after this time intimate time that you two spent together, your heart was pumping. I mean, you wanted them again. You wanted that experience again. You spent time envisioning it, playing it over in your head. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. And even though, you know, they're a soulmate, you feel this deep connection with this person, you're the third party. Hmm. You are the third party. And that's the reality of this situation. No matter how you try and spin it, how you try and look at it, you're the third party. And that just won't do for you when you think of your elevation, your path, what you want, what you deserve. This is not it. Okay, and so this full moon is telling you that you deserve more than this. Even though you love this person, you guys have a deep connection, they belong to somebody else and you're the third party. All right, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said, if so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, tell me what's going on, because all of you have a different story. For those of you who have already subscribed to me, mwah, love you, and until the next moon phase, Sagittarius, namaste.